Hello, and welcome to the first course about AWS Automation. During this course, you'll learn how AWS CloudFormation works and how you can use it for building scalable infrastructures. AWS CloudFormation gives you an easy way to create a set of cloud resources, such as Amazon EC2 instances, CloudFront distributions, RDS database instances, and other services. A template file describes what resources you need, and AWS CloudFormation takes care of provisioning the resources in an orderly and predictable fashion, handling and recovering from any failures or issues. Amazon is updating the list of AWS supported resources and operations monthly, and right now the following services are fully or partially supported. EC2, VPC, ELB, Elastic Load Balancing, Autoscaling, Route 53, S3, CloudFront, RDS, DynamoDB, SimpleDB, Redshift, Elasticash, SNS or Simple Notification Service, SQS or Simple Q service, CloudFormation, CloudWatch, Elastic Beanstalk, OpsWorks, IAM, and Kinesis. As you can see, the list includes CloudFormation itself. It's possible to create stackable templates in order to simplify template maintenance and update. Thanks to AWS CloudFormation, you can describe your IT infrastructure and deploy it anytime you need, creating different environments, for example testing, staging, production, etc., in a few minutes. Using file or code versioning tools like Git or SVN, you can keep track of each infrastructure modification, linking your infrastructure model to the application ecosystem itself. AWS CloudFormation uses the word stack in order to identify a specific infrastructure. That merely is a collection of well-configured AWS resources. Each CloudFormation stack has a unique name and a linked template with a specific configuration. When you create a new stack, you can keep track of the infrastructure deployment, delete it or check its live status and collected logs. It's important to keep in mind that CloudFormation checks if each stack resource is properly created and configured. If a resource cannot be created, CloudFormation rolls back and destroys all created resources.